In this video, we're gonna practice recording a vendor prepayment. The exercise we're gonna follow along with is over here on the right-hand side, and it's pulled from our Advanced Level Pro Advisor Certification course, which if you would like more information about that course after we go through the exercise, be sure to click on the link below in the description. Let's dive right in and see what our scenario is today. This exercise has three parts with a scenario for each shown as you go through the exercise. Be sure to do all three parts of this exercise in the same sample company session. So you will need to be in the sample company to do this exercise. And if you're not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on the link below in the description. I have the sample company pulled up here on the left-hand side. This is the dashboard. So let's go ahead and get started. Part one of this scenario, Craig just landed a contract to build a football field for the new high school. Because it is so large, he has hired Excavation Excellence to prepare the field before his landscapers can get to work. The estimate from Est uh, Excavation Excellence, excuse me, is $120,000 and they require a 30% deposit to secure the contract. Craig is hoping to land another um, other large contracts like this and hire them in the future. You will need to set up Craig with a vendor prepayment account and pay the excavating excellence down payment so they can get started. So the first thing we have to do is create that vendor prepayment asset account. So to do that, we're gonna click on account and tools and then select chart of accounts. Account and tools is right here at the top of the screen. Go ahead and click on that and then select chart of accounts. We're creating a new one. So we're going to click on the green new button. This will be an asset. So go ahead and click on assets. In the save account under field, we want to select other current assets. So click into that box um, and then you want to select other current assets. In the tax form section, select other current assets. So click into that box. You may need to scroll down a little bit and then once you find other current assets, go ahead and select that as well. In the account name field, we want to type vendor prepayment. So go ahead and click into that box and type vendor prepayment. Okay, so once you have done all of that, we can go ahead and click on the green save button. So go ahead and do that. And that new account has been created. Next, we need to create an expense for the 30% deposit. So to create that expense transaction, we're gonna click on the plus new button and then select expense. The plus new button is on the top left corner of the screen, go ahead and click on that and then under vendors, select expense. Now, since Excavation Excellence is a new vendor, we will need to set them up, which can be done directly within the expense transaction. So in the PE field, we want to type Excavation Excellence and then select plus add new Excavation Excellence. So go ahead and click into this box and go ahead and type their name, Excavation Excellence, Excavation Excellence, great. And then once you type in their name, you wanna click on this plus add new, go ahead and do that. And you will see this new vendor form appear with their name. Um, if you had in real life any other information that you could put about this vendor, highly recommend filling out this profile as much as possible. But for the purposes of this exercise, we're just going to have their name. So you can go ahead and click on the green save button. And now you can see they are a new payee. All right, so where did I go? Here we go. Um, <laughs> we're gonna leave the payment account and payment date fields as is, but of course in a real life scenario, if you need to make adjustments, definitely do it here. So on the first line in the category field, we want to select vendor prepayment. So click into that uh, box right there, and then you can start typing in vendor to have it appear for you. Once you have it, go ahead and select their, uh, select that account. In the description field, we want to type high school excavation. So click into the description field and type high, oops, high school <laughs> excavation. The amount here is going to be 
$36,000. And that is because it is 30% of that $120,000 um, uh, amount. So in the amount field, go ahead and type, oops, I need to click into the amount box and then type $36,000. We are done creating this expense. So go ahead and click on the save and close button that's down here on the bottom right corner of the screen. And there you go, you can see that expense has now been saved. So part two of the scenario, you have just received the first bill from Excavation Excellence in the amount of 14,000. How do you record this bill as paid given that you have already put down a deposit? So let's create that bill first. To do so, we're gonna click on the plus new button and then select bill. So the plus new button on the top left corner, once again, click on that and then under vendors, select bill. Once it comes up, we need to fill it out. So in the vendor field, we want to select excavation excellence. Um, if you get any pop-ups, just go ahead and click out of them. Um, it's not necessary for this exercise. So go ahead and click on that down arrow and either scroll or you can start typing in their name. Once you find it, go ahead and select it. And then let's fill out this bill. So on the first line in the category field, we're going to select job expenses. We will have that as the category. So click into it. You can click the down arrow and just scroll a little bit. Go ahead and select it once you find it. In the description field, let's label what this is for. So high school excavation part one. Click into that description box and then type high school excavation part one. And then the amount for that bill, again, was $14,000. So we want to put that in the amount field. Click into the amount field, type 14,000. And if you hit the tab key over, you will see that QBO has added that amount. But now we need to show that that $14,000 is being applied um, towards the $36,000 prepayment. So to do that on the second line in the category field, we need to select vendor prepayment. So click into that category box um, on the second line. You can start typing in vendor to get vendor prepayment showed up. Once you see it, go ahead and select it. Let's, in the description field, add a little more information about this. what this is about. So we will type apply deposit. Click into that box, type apply deposit, Oops, deposit, there we go. And this time we're going to do a negative 14,000. And this is showing that that deposit, um, the, the, this $14,000 bill is being applied towards the deposit that was already made. So do a negative 14,000. When you hit the tab key over, you will see now this is all zeroed out, showing that that bill is now being applied, um, that the, the prepayment is being used towards that bill. So let's go ahead and click on the down arrow next to save and schedule payment to select save and close. That is down here on the bottom right corner. Click on that down arrow and then select save and close. And that bill has been saved. So part three of this scenario, Craig is checking his cash flow to see if he can begin some other projects. He needs to know how much is left of his prepayment to excavation excellence. So how would you find this out for him? You would create a balance sheet report. So to do that from the left navigation bar, we want to click on reports. So that is over here. It's about halfway down. Go ahead and click on that to get to the reports center. And then we want to click on balance sheet. So go ahead and select that. We want to see all dates. So in the report period field, we're going to select all dates and then click on run report. So scroll back up towards the top. Here's that report period field. Click on the down arrow right next to it so that you can select all dates. Once you do, you can click on run report. And now all of the information will show up here on the balance sheet. Now, because Excavation Excellence is the only vendor Craig is currently prepaying, you can reference the total right from the balance sheet. Eventually, however, this same category will be used by other vendors. So use the following steps to see the details of this account organized by vendor. 
So you can see it right here, here it's saved under other current assets. Remember when we set up the, that, set this up in the chart of accounts, we had it going under the other current assets. So it's showing right here in order to see the breakdown of in within this particular account, you want to go ahead and click on 22,000. Go ahead and select that. And you will see now the, um, you will see now the report showing the um, the information uh, about this vendor prepayment. As you can see, there's only the one for excavation excellence, since that is the only one that he is prepaying on right now. Now, as a big note here, Intuit is currently changing the format of all reports. If you are presented to view the report in modern view, you want to follow steps 30 through 32 as written below here. Um, if you are presented to view the report in classic view, you want to use the steps written out. So this is considered the classic view. So let's go ahead and follow these through. And then I'm going to, if I can change it over to the modern view, I'll show you what that looks like as well. So let's go ahead and click on customize. That is right here towards the top. And then in the group by field, we're going to select vendor. So the group by field is right here. Go ahead and click on that down arrow and then select vendor. And then we want to click on run report down in the bottom corner. And you will see right here, you can tell that it is being grouped by vendor now. So um, rather than being grouped by prepayment, the vendor prepayment. So this is how you can see if you had multiple, you would be able to just collapse these arrows and open them back up to see if you are um, to see all the information below. So if you let me see if there is a way I don't think there is a way to change this over to modern view. Um, but if you are presented with modern view, I'm just going to read through the steps, you would click on group. In the group field, uh, you would select vendor. And the report automatically updates on the left hand side, you could view to view the report, you would just click on the X on the top right corner of that little pop out as you're filling it out. And again, this report would be grouped by vendor. So uh, you can get the same result whether you are looking at it in modern view or classic view. Um, but overall, that is how you would record a vendor prepayment. Now, if you like this exercise and you wanna do more like it, or if you would like more information about the advanced level pro advisor certification course, be sure to click on the link below in the description, and I will see you in the next exercise.